Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In the today's video I am going to show you in depth how our Genius, how our Genius Rewriter is working, um, what exactly is happening in the backend and um, I'm going to answer one very um, frequent question. Uh, no, this is not an OpenAI based um, tool. And I will get to this a little bit later. Now let's get into it. This is our new homepage and you can just come in here and log in by yourself, sign up, whatever you need, and then you're gonna give, be given a free trial to try it out. And once you are here, this is the dashboard. This is how you are going to be presented. This is where you are going to be shown your genius credits, with credits which are basically related to the genius writer and the grammar maestro, and uh, YouTube to article credits, which is our standalone feature, which I'm also going to show you slightly later. And uh, let's get into it, guys. Uh, Genius to Writer. What is this? How does this work? Simple put, I am going to spot this as simple as I can. We are using an AI layer. What is an AI layer? Well, an AI layer is form of more AI technologies that do certain tasks and communicate with each other. So, simplified, we have models that take your text and analyze it. Then we have models that take the analyzed text and classify it. And after the, the text has been classified, the best version of that classified text is being rewritten. Since we have a pretty deep level of um, logic, uh, implemented logic and um, AI technology um, in the back end, and with the, especially with a new addition, which was GPT-4, because we did not have a, anything from OpenAI before GPT-4 because GPT-4 is able to analyze it, to classify the text much better. So when, when it's being fed an analyzed piece of text, it can tell you how this is going to continue. So it, it can tell you like how the other AI technologies should work on it and rewrite it in order to uh, get the best version of it. So this is a never ending cycle and that goes in the back end when you press rewrite. Now, I know that for some this may sound complicated and I completely understand, but I try to make it as simple as I can. And um, let's go forward. Let me let me actually show you. So um, let's take a, a Google article for this example and let's take a title. Now, how does Genius AI rewrite titles? Keep in mind at all times, a title implemented in the logic it's being recognized as a title, subheading, or heading as long as it's 10 words or less. So keep that in mind. Uh, and does not end with a period or any other um, um, punctuation marks that um, paragraphs and sentences end with. So we got this out of the way. This is going to be written as a title. Good. Now, how does it rewrite the paragraphs? Because Many of you had some issue with this. Uh, when you press rewrite, remember that cycle I was talking about it well, like a little bit uh, earlier? Yeah, here it is. So Genius takes the text up to here, takes this small, well, sentence, phrase, call it how you want, sends it and through the cycle and processes it, finds the best version of it, and then outputs it, right? And it go, does the same with each and every new paragraph. So it goes through each new line, stops here for a second, takes the other piece, and takes everything individually and finds, it tries to find the best version of that text individually. Now, you may be asking, why did we do this? And guys, the answer to this is simple. It's because we wanted you to have as rewrites as accurate as possible and as original as possible. So if we were to take the output from here and run it through Copyscape, for example, which is one of the best out there, we will never find anything. So even if we were to take this to like an AI detection tool and I put codes here and quotation marks, because guys, let me tell you something, okay? Um, uh, AI content that does not exist. And many of you will argue with me on that, but 
I've been working with AI in this industry, not since GPT-3, not since chat GPT, but ever since we were trying to make something on G of GPT-2. So that's a few years back. So I know a few things about this. And I am telling you, you cannot classify AI content. AI content and human content, again, explaining this very, in a, with a very simple example, is like going to the market and buying two tomatoes. Then try to classify each, like those, try to classify which one of those tomato, tomatoes has been uh, grown in a facility and which one has been grown organically. Truth, both of them grew organically and it's just a different of place. So it's very similar with AI and human content. AI content is basically um, a lot of human trained da data. So humans have written content for a very long time and all this content written by us has been taken and fed into the AI in order for, it, for, for us to teach it. So it learned from us. So AI content, it's just human content in the end. It's just found a way to um, output way. Like, I'll go into depth and explain you how this all AI technology works, but that's, that's for someone else to do first of all, and it's way too long. And there are a lot of videos on it. You can go check it out yourselves. Um, but AI content, it is same th same thing as human content because we've written that. The AI, it's taking the data and well, kind of rewards it on his own. But that's it, nothing more than that. Like, this is as simple as I can put it. Of course, there's a lot of more technical stuff going on in, in the back end, but this is what you have to understand. AI content is human data, that's it. Nothing more than that. So before you pay money for tools like Originality, GPT-0, and any other tool like this AI detection tools, don't do it. it. It's a waste of your money. It will never be relevant to what you actually need to focus on and actually what, what the SEO is about, which is producing unique content. Now, I totally agree with you when you say that you shouldn't make content that screams AI. Yes, that I totally agree with. Like robotic written content, like very low quality content that actually looks like written by an AI, then I totally agree that you shouldn't put that on your website. And even then that it's not AI content, that's still human data, but it's just been outputted in a robotic way because well, guess what? It's being written by a fucking uh, robot, right? So <laughs> that's no surprise there. Um, now let's go forward and show and tell you a few more things um, that we have upcoming. We have the article builder, which is going to allow you to create high quality content um, with one click. And uh, that's going to be uh, very big for you guys because we are actually f fine tuning uh, some uh, some models that we've been working with and they are giving out some very good results we are still working with it this is still in development the same thing as the bulk writer which is yet to be implemented now i don't want to rush these two because when i bring them out i don't want them to have flaws so uh, please bear with me for like a, at least two more weeks until i'm done with them um at least with the bulk writer uh, the article builder may take slightly longer um it depends a lot on many factors um, because prior to like uh, publishing anything and uh, adding a new feature, we are actually testing everything uh, like in depth. So you wouldn't have to test it yourself. You can just come in and get what you paid for, right? So that's the deal. Now, uh, what is the YouTube to article feature? Now, guys, uh, this is something very unique that we've been working with and on. And it's still in beta, as you can see, same thing as the Grammar Maestro. And, um, okay, let's let's just uh, go to YouTube. Um, let me see, let's go to AI. Come on, give me a, yeah, this one seems pretty good. And now we are going to downsub, gonna download it. And here's what I'm talking about the bad caption. Like this is a very bad AI caption. Like 
this is hard to understand and put together, right? Because it's from a video, it's it's just for you to read it out and, and that's it. But if you were to actually put this together, it wouldn't make any sense. And let me show you. Now, let's say I'm coming here and this is 2000 words. Now, here's where I have to tell you something. This is here, we have set the current limits for the betas. They are still in beta, so they are running on limits. The current limit of the YouTube caption to article is 15,500 characters. So better do a little bit of math before copy pasting. Um, the grammar maestro has a 10,000 characters limit. So keep that also in mind. Now let's go back to our uh, YouTube to article and uh, try it out. Now, um, how lengthy is this process? It's approximately, approximately, um, 20 seconds to two minutes, depending on the size of the caption. Um, I will simplify the way this works as well. There are two different AI engines running in the backend, and one, which is, by the way, uh, GPT-4, it's classifying and the content and trying to find out the good points. And the other fine-tuned model that we're using for this is then uh, creating the article. So. Um, yeah, let's see how this works. It's taking a little, so till then let's just um, read a little bit through the tips that we are giving you guys. So input at least 23 to 25 words for a good rewrite. So make sure that it's being respected. Format your text in a proper or balanced way, which means that, what does it mean? It's like, like formatting means like, you know, adding some space, making sure that your um, Paragraphs are nicely formatted so that the content is being read properly. Um, then um, the paragraphs you're writing. Now this is uh, just some test we've done. And we're done with the article, as you can see. So we will have here um, three sections, 446 words. Basically an article created out of a very, very bad uh, uh, caption. So you'll be given a title, sections, introduction, uh, and a conclusion. You can just, just copy paste this, or you can have then, uh, or you can just write more on it if you prefer to, but this is like a perfect starting point for you to um, go with. Um, you can come in here and buy credits for it. It's a standalone feature that is separate from our rewriter and the grammar maestro. Like these two, they will always come together with the article builder and bulk rewriter. So these two are also part of the genius series, but this is a standalone feature. And we plan to release a few more standalone features. So there's that. Now, um, let's, let's, let's test something out. Let's test the grammar maestro. So let's copy the output from here and put it in here and let's see what we get output back so we even put 128 words and we're gonna try to see there you go so it's telling you this is the rewritten text and everything that's been like not grammatically or um, nicely written is going to be uh, rectified and um, well corrected and these are all three features for now. And um, Gamma Maestro is not even using, um, is not even based on um, on the same cycle. It's it's running on its own different cycle of correcting, classifying, uh, and etc. I'll go through it with you, but um, it's again a pretty lengthy process. Now I hope you understood how the Genius Rewriter works, and I hope you understood how this uh, entire um, process goes in the back end and the behind and creates everything that you see in front of your eyes. Thank you guys for watching and I will come out with another video where I will rewrite an article and then I will actually post it. And I'll also go more in depth with this. So until next time, see you guys.